The assassination two days ago of the Mexican mayor Gisela Mota of the center-left Democratic Revolutionary Party, or PRDE, in the conflictive state of Temixco in the state of Morelos has provoked the state's governor to implement a security protocol called Mando Unico in 15 municipalities, which essentially gives the state's security apparatus control over local police. As has been reported, Mota had only assumed her uh, position as mayor hours before her murder when an armed group of individuals killed her in her home in front of her family. Now, the authorities say two of the suspects were killed in a shootout with police and three others uh, have been now arrested. Now, in regards to the uh, security measures, many have called, uh, many have been critical of the protocol, which has also been implemented at a federal level uh, through an initiative by President Enrique Peña Nieto after the September 2014 forced disappearance of the 43 Ayotzinapa students. Now, although the measure is uh, intended to curtail local police corruption, impunity, and infiltration by the strong presence of organized crime, uh, many critics argue that it is not effective and that ultimately the same levels of corruption and impunity exist at the state and federal levels. Um, although no specific motive has been made clear uh, over the assassination of Mota, some speculate that it represents a message to other new politicians taking reins uh, in areas where organized crime is dominant, and that if these new politicians do not abide by the status quo established by crime groups, then they are considered to be a threat. This is Clayton Khan reporting for Telesur here in Mexico City.